Hi, this is another QuantLab programming session and this time we're going to go through the options library and uh, look how to create a volatility surface uh, using some different models. And I've prepared some code uh, that we're going to go through and uh, we start by importing the volatility surface library and setting up the models that we are intending to use. And we're going to look at the Sabre model, the Stochastic Volatility Inspired by Gadrol, and the Wing model. And first, uh, we're going to make the interpolation. And we're going to take a curve and a calc date, a quote side, expiry, and the input model. And first, we extract all the options from the QuantLab database. Uh, they're stored, in including their pricing. So we're going to get a vector of options. And then we're going to get a maturity for the expiry that we choose, so we can plot only one expiry. And the first thing uh, we need to do is create a filtration. And a filtration is just a way of uh, getting telling the surface which options you want to use. So we're going to use only puts, calls that are out of the money. And we're going to use uh, mid quotations to, to extract these options. And all the other options we're going to throw away for this exercise. Uh, and the next uh, step is to apply this filtration to the options that we have chosen. Um, and so we have a surface. And within the surface, we have the uh, space of options that we are interested in. So now we can make a fit, and now you can see that we have made a little if-else uh, switch uh, statement here, where we can switch between the models that we have. So we have uh, the calibrate saber with uh, uh, false for not going through at the money. So we're going to have a loose saber calibration, uh, or we can use the wing model, and we have uh, some hard-coded predefined sets on how to, to run the wing model as well. And the stochastic volatility inspired by Gatherall, it takes no param parameters. It, it just calibrates that model to, to the options. And then we plot uh, using forward moneyness on the x-axis. So we center around uh, moneyness uh, 1, which is at the money. And uh, we're going to go uh, a bit left and right of the at the money node. And then we just uh, get the surface values using the forward moneyness and the maturity that, that we have chosen. And we choose some settings. We, we, we let the model uh, ec uh, extrapolate uh, both left and right. And then we plot the, uh, the forward moneyness and the walls into the graph. So that's, that's about it. And, and then the second function we want to see, obviously, um, our raw data, the vols that we use to do the calibration. So, so we have a function here that just plots our strikes and our vols um, for the puts and calls, so we can see where we're at. Uh, so we have added a graph, um, and uh, we have the functions um, attached to the graph. And now we can choose a surface to work with from our database. So we're going to start with the OMX index surface and a calc date. So we're going to use yesterday's date at mid-market at 4.30 in the afternoon. And we're going to take a close expiry, March 10th expiry. And let's start out with the Sabre model and see how that looks. And now you can see the red dots are the raw puts, the blue dots are the, are the calls, and the green line is the calibration. So we can see how the stochastic volatility inspired model uh, would fit uh, on this. And you can see it fits fairly nice. Um, and we can also see how the wing model fits to this data. And it also fits fairly nice. Um, and as you can see, the OMX options are quite uh, tight. And we can see if we look at uh, some other single uh, equity. Uh, let's take um, 
uh, Ericsson, for instance, and let's see what that looks like. Well, it looks decent, even though there are a lot fewer points to work with. Um, and yeah, that's how you do it, basically. Uh, thanks for now.